I'm in stage three kidney failure now, so my kidneys are failing. Uh, I've got diabetic retinopathy. I am disabled. I am visually impaired. Diabetes relief for me is turning back the clock. They've done something no other hospital or doctor has been able to do, and that's regulate me. Well, typical treatment for diabetes is medication and watching your diet. But even with those efforts, diabetics can continue to ravage the body, or diabetes can. Diabetes relief can not only stop the damage, but it can also reverse it. This is groundbreaking. And here to tell us what it does differently than other treatment methods, please welcome back Medical Director Dr. Stanley Lewis. Good morning. Thank you, David. All right. In this country alone, about 29 million people have diabetes. Uh, another 8 million are underdiagnosed or have no idea that they have this. When you say diabetes, explain what this is. It's kind of an umbrella for so many diseases or so many um, fatal diseases, really. Right. There's, so there's almost 30 million people with diabetes. There's another 86 million people that have prediabetes. Wow. And what does that mean? Well, that really means that your body has become it's become very difficult for your body to process sugars in particular your metabolism has broken down and at diabetes relief that's really what we try to focus on yeah uh, so traditional medicine diet exercise insulin pills, stuff insulin, like that yeah those things are great because they actually take the sugar out of the blood they reduce the hyperglycemia but it doesn't cure the problem does it but it doesn't cure the problem um, it's important. It's a very important aspect. I don't want to uh, Tell uh, mislead, to throw, yeah, out of the throw that yeah, stuff yeah, away. Yeah. That's very, very important. And we utilize some of those things in our clinic as well. However, what we do is we go a step beyond. We recognize that diabetes itself is really just a symptom of, a, of an underlying problem. Right. This underlying problem of metabolic failure is what we try to address with diabetes relief. All right, because when you have that diabetes, it's like marching on in your body. You heard that man talk about all the things that's happening with him. Heart disease, uh, that's one of the number one reasons for heart disease as well, uh, is diabetes. And when we say type two diabetes, we often hear people say that, and type one diabetes, this can address both? Yes, so the problem with the, when the pancreas sort of gives up and it's like no longer able to handle all of the foodstuffs that you ingest, it fails to communicate properly with the liver. And if the liver is offline, then you're not producing the enzymes and hormones that you need to metabolize your food. So diabetes ensues. Now in type one diabetes, that's the pancreas is not putting out any insulin at all. Yeah. Uh, and in type two diabetes, the pancreas is trying to put out the insulin, but it just can't get enough. Yeah, all right, so I had several people stop me on this this weekend, and they're saying, okay, what is it? Because they're all interested, because this woman, she said, you know, I'm taking all the medications my doctor's giving me, I still don't feel good, my eyesight's getting worse. So again, uh, diabetes is still marching on in her body doing what it, what it does, even though she's taking the medication. So they're asking, is, this, is it a medicine? Is it a, what kind of therapy is this? Yes, well, diabetes relief is an infusion therapy. It's a patent pendant, and that's our pump there. It's a patent pendant uh, infusion therapy that we use to reactivate the liver. It actually brings the liver back online so you can metabolize the food uh, as you're supposed like to. Like you're supposed to. Right. Yeah. All right, so that's what that infusion does. How many infusions do you need? Uh, how does this work? Well, it really depends. Uh, we individualize the therapy for each patient. Some patients may need therapy once every month, some patients a little less, some patients a little more. It sort of depends, and we adjust the therapy as you're going. So oftentimes you may start out with needing it once or twice a week, but by the time you're stabilized on our therapy, you may only need it once or twice a month. Yeah, and here's the neat thing about this. Um, one is, of course, stopping that diabetes and, and, and making sure that your liver's operating, functioning the way it should be. And so, but the other thing is actually reversing things like diabetic neuropathy, um, the liver damage or the, the kidney damage. It actually can reverse those things. It helps the body to repair those things. That's what I'm most excited about. Because as an internist, and like most physicians, I had patients that I was, I would give them the diagnosis of diabetes and I sort of knew what was going to happen. Right. It was going to be me jockeying behind all of their hemoglobin A1Cs and all of their serum glucose levels and hoping and praying that they would diet and exercise and do all the things that I was instructing them to do mm -hmm. that would Easier slow this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and, and, and our goal was just to slow this down. It, it was never our goal to reverse it. So when I came upon diabetes relief and I started working with this new uh, really revolutionary technology, yeah. I realized that, hey, we can do more 
we can actually start to reverse some of these problems. So things like neuropathy, things like retinopathy, things like nephropathy yeah. uh, with the kidneys. Renal failure? Yeah, yeah. Renal failure. We can start to reverse some of those uh, sequelae of that. This is amazing because I think we got into a rut of treating people's symptoms. And that's yes. what you see all the commercials says, Do you, are you having this symptom? We'll, we'll cover up that symptom. So when you cover up symptoms, it doesn't mean that, that it's gone away, right? So in this case, literally uh, reversing that is like a miracle. It's, it's, it was really frustrating for us. And, and we really start to see now patients making the improvements that we really want yeah. to see. It's, you know, we had a guy coming in in a wheelchair, graduated to a walker who's now walking in for his therapy. Yes, we had that. Yeah. Uh, And his story is, is not the only one. I mean, so many patients will tell you, hey, uh, doc, you've told me to exercise, you've told me to eat right, but I'm always hungry because insulin makes you hungry. Yeah. And I can't exercise because I don't have enough energy or my feet hurt too much. Uh, so how is it that I'm ever, ever going to be able to comply with the, right. the regimen that you've so set out for me? It's a downward spiral. It's a downward spiral. So we've got to start reversing this if we're ever going to get a handle on it. And right now we're going toward half of Americans having diabetes in the next few years. Wow. Okay. Um, who qualifies for this? And can insurance help pay for something like this? Anyone who has a diagnosis of diabetes or prediabetes can qualify for our treatment uh, and most insurances uh, we can work with most insurance yeah yeah I want to share another story too because this is amazing the um, there's a guy Kenneth from Lufkin yes. and you have people coming in from around the country because yes. this is not available everywhere my hometown. yeah yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> hi mom right yeah, but, hi, mom. Uh, but uh, I came in from Lufkin uh, to get treated now we certainly know with people who are diabetic if they get like a slightest cut it can be a big infection that's why we see amputation number one reason for amputations is type 2 diabetes or diabetes in general and sometimes they cut and they keep cutting keep cutting because it never heals it's what wiggly. happened with Kenneth? Yeah, so this person came in. He, his grandkids had bought him a new pair of shoes, and they were a little bit too small. So he developed about a one-inch sore on both of his feet. He didn't know about diabetes relief at the time, right. but he uh, went ahead and they insisted that he receive an amputation on one of his feet. Uh, he came in to diabetes relief, started getting our uh, therapy, and sure enough, that wound healed in record time, and we were able to save the other foot so he did not have to get both feet. Yeah. And, and when you this see that, a lot of us looking at there who, who heal normally say, okay, what's the big deal? The thing is, with a lot of diabetics, that never heals. That never heals completely. Right. And you start to whittle away, and you'll lose the foot, then you'll lose the ankle, then you'll lose the, the below the knee amputation. So it becomes a, a, an ongoing process. So we were able to not only uh, uh, slow that process, he now does not have the neuropathy. Uh, that ultimately caused him to to yeah. uh, not feel his feet well enough to feel that he was developing the sore, but he also saved the other foot so he can walk. Yeah. All right, Bruce from Brazoria. <laughs> used to have six vials of insulin per month. Six vials of insulin per month. That's now gone down to in half. Uh, he also had bleeding in his eyes. Yes. Yeah, so the diabetic retinopathy can cause uh, is one of the leading causes mm -hmm. of blindness. And after being on our uh, treatment, he has no longer has the bleeding in his eyes. We've cut his hemoglobin in C, uh, hemoglobin A1C uh, almost in half, and he's feeling much better. He's yeah. got a ton of energy. And, of course, we saw Josh earlier, and he says he has less pain in his feet and sensation has returned. Uh, he had severe retinopathy before, but now his vision has actually improved. In fact, the woman I ran into this weekend said the doctors won't even give her a prescription for her glasses because they said it's just all over the place. Her yep. eyesight's all over the place. This can help stabilize that as well. Yes, and even start to reverse that as well. And erectile dysfunction, which That's is another a big problem. One. A lot of men who will not go in when their head legs are hurting, well, they will not go in. When they'll they have come in. There, but they're going to come in when they say, oh, heck now. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's one of those things, too. And it's, I, I went by there the other day because whenever we talk about things that we have on the show, I like to go by and see the actual place. Yeah. And number one, a lot of places feel like it's like kind of cold and sterile. It's a very nice place. It's a very comforting place. Yes. It's, it's really actually very pretty <laughs> too. Uh, yeah. But it's interesting because people will sit around and they'll talk about things and every now and then you hear the conversation where it's like, has anyone else got a renewed relationship like me? <laughs> right? So, and you see that happen a lot. All right, That's you awesome. can get a free bottle of Metabolism Enhancer when you schedule a consultation with Diabetes Relief in July. That uh, Metabolism Enhancer is right here on the table. Uh, now, what does that do? That actually helps in the in-between times. So we encourage all the patients to certainly diet, try to exercise if you can. But as your cells are regenerating and the diabetes relief uh, treatment is starting to work, uh -huh. you'll need several nutrition, uh, nutrients that you're not 
probably getting in right. your diet, this helps to uh, supply those. All right. You can call Diabetes Relief at 281-600-5000, 281-600-5000. Just mention Great Day Houston when you call. And for more information, log on to diabetesrelief.com. Thank you very much. <laughs> for being overweight,